storylines of the young futuristic heroes, the Legion of Superheroes, opens us up to a much vaster landscape, as this group of heroes tirelessly works to protect the universe. Planets that play a key role in these stories include the following. Brow, home of Cosmic Boy, a founding member of the Legion, who along with other members of his planet, wields the ability to manipulate fields of magnetism. Meanwhile, Rimbor, home of Ultra Boy, is a multicultural planet, housing dozens of different races, but also has the reputation of being a rough and lawless world, where crime and corruption run rampant. As Obi-Wan might say, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Next are Zoon and Trom. Zoon was the original home of the hero Timberwolf. Though it has been retconned after the Zero Hour Crisis in Time reboot that he is actually now from Rimbor. Trom, on the other hand, has remained the home of Element Lad, but its high levels of radioactivity resulted in the deaths of almost all of its inhabitants, Element Lad appearing to be Trom's only surviving son. Winneth, a planet settled by humans sometime between the 20th and 30th centuries, gave rise to the twin heroes Lightning Lass and Lightning Lad. An interesting bit of trivia about Winneth is that for some reason, almost all children born on this planet are twins. Neat, huh? Kolu, also known as Bryak, Yod, and in current continuity, Yod Kolu, has at times been said to be the originator of the evil AI Brainiac. Later, Kolu would also be hailed as the home planet of Viral Dox, better known as the Legion hero Brainiac V, who claims to be Brainiac's 30th century descendant, and is working to prove himself to be better than his evil ancestor. And I thought having daddy issues was bad. Anyway, there's a lot more history here to explore, but we'll have to cover it in another video. One of the main villains in the Legion of Superheroes storylines is the One-Handed Tear. This Captain Hook wannabe terrorizes the galaxy from his mobile planet of Tiraz, where the people there are devoted to the art of war. And finally, we have Shanghala and Weber's World. Shanghala, whose name is an amalgamation of Shangri-La and Valhalla, is a memorial planetoid for the fallen heroes of the Legion of Superheroes while Weber's world is an artificial planet-sized satellite that houses the government of the United Planets. Now, we know we missed a couple of Legionnaire planets during this exploration, but unfortunately we couldn't find enough information to make their mention worthwhile. Other planets of note outside the 30th century storylines are Thanagar, home of everyone's favorite mace-welding couple, Hawkman and Hawkgirl, along with the rest of their race of winged humanoids. Well, at least within the alien explanation for these characters. And finally, we have Tacron Galtos, a planet-sized prison used to house the galaxy's most dangerous criminals, including ones rounded up by Amanda Waller and her Suicide Squad. Now, there are also a few realms already mentioned in the multiverse that at one time were described as planets, such as Apocalypse and New Genesis. But, as we can see from the multiverse map, that is not the case. True, they are planet-like in shape and configuration, but they are now considered beyond the physical realm of planets. Another difference that should be noted is the exclusion of Bizarro World from this list. As some of you might already know, Bizarro World, also known as Hetra, or Earth spelled backwards, is a fictional world where everything is inverted. All the characters we know and love exist here in their Bizarro forms the most famous being Bizarro Superman. These characters are the opposite of their hero counterparts, evil with gray skin and the world's most confusing way of speaking. No, seriously, it's amazing they get anything done, as they say the opposite of what they mean. So getting a straight answer out of them is probably next to impossible. Speaking patterns aside, because Bizarro World is basically another Earth, it has been incorporated into the new Ori of Worlds, as the cube-shaped Earth-29. But before we wrap up this section on fictional planets, we'd like to point out that known planets within our solar system also play a big part in some of DC's storylines, the main one being the planet Mars. In DC, Mars is an inhabited world, with at least two different races, 
the White Martians, and the Green Martians, of who the hero, Martian Manhunter, is part of. Or was part of. You see, while at one time the Green Martians thrived, they were basically completely wiped out by the evil White Martians, who seemed to take pride in being the Nazis of Mars. Needless to say, Martian Manhunter has a beef with them. But we'll discuss that at another time. So that should give you a general overview on some of the fictional planets that will play a role in the stories of DC heroes. Obviously, we didn't mention all of them, but we'll be sure to point them out as each of our videos needs. Next up, we move away from the universe as a whole and turn our focus to our own planet and take a look at the fictional countries there, starting with the fictional islands and European nations that DC seems to have a flair for.